Hi, and welcome to one of the most fun annual holiday traditions here at the Fairy Tale Family. It's our annual Trader Joe's holiday taste test. We went, we ventured to Trader Joe's, which is about 45 minutes from our house this morning. The whole fam, how exciting. Also, I hope that this bell jingling isn't incredibly annoying for you. We're just trying to live into our festive best. And I learned something. I waited too long to do the Christmas experience at Trader Joe's, if you know what I mean. Last year when I filmed this, I feel like I must have hit it at a sweet spot and I picked up every peppermint thing that Trader Joe's had to offer. This year, I feel like I have a much smaller arrangement and that's okay uh, because honestly, there was no way we could have eaten every single pepperminty thing from the haul. And I also find I have the same problem during fall months with their pumpkin offerings. So if you watched that video, I tried to tame it down. This time I had no choice but to tame it down. So Callie said she wanted to be a guest star for some of the peppermint treats at the end. So I think I'm gonna first start by showing you the things that we are not going to be trying because they're for Christmas Eve or Christmas dinner appetizers. So Trader Joe's, if you don't know what it is, is like the target of grocery stores. It's primarily small. It's focused on like sustainable, organic ways to grow things. And it's not crazy overpriced. They have an incredible frozen food section. And I tend to hit that hard during the Christmas months. So we have had these before. These are a 10 out of 10 any time of year, but these are the pastry bites with feta cheese and caramelized onions. They come in this little tray um, and they do take about 35, 30-ish 30 minutes to actually bake and there are 12 of them. So this would be, this is going to be for us, a lovely appetizer probably on Christmas day. These I've never tried before and I've never seen them. They look really pretty. These are the beef on croute bites. So they're beef and mushroom duck cell. Is duck cell a type of mushroom? In a puff pastry. These only take 15 minutes. Oh, and you could do these in an air fryer. I feel like my sister would really like that. Again, these, there are 10 of these in here. These are gonna be fantastic for Christmas dinner. And then you can never go wrong with a brie wrapped puff pastry. Sometimes I make my own, but Trader Joe's, this one is equally as delicious and you can add toppings. So I usually do some type of cranberry jam on the side, but this is just brie cheese wrapped in crust. This takes about, let's see, this takes about 40 minutes. So this one's going to be a little bit longer in the oven and I might do this one on Christmas Eve. We do actually host both here at the house for Christmas Eve and Christmas dinner. Although this year, something that's changing is in the past, Christmas Eve has been Crock-Pot Christmas and everybody contributes something and it's been very casual and Christmas dinner has had a theme. So last year we did French. This year we were going with a traditional Hawaiian theme. We're really kicking that Aloha lifestyle up for the holidays. So that has caused a bit of stress, right? On Christmas day, you have children, they're unwrapping their presents. All you wanna do is like stay in your jammies and drink hot cocoa, but then you have to like clean the house and then start a formal Christmas dinner in the middle of the afternoon. So this year we're flip-flopping it so that Christmas Eve will be the more formal sit-down dinner and then Christmas day will be crock pot Christmas. Not that anyone asked, but just in case you were wondering. Last year, I bought the rosé version of this. This is a magnum-sized bottle of Prosecco. This is one and a half liters, and the goal is to have it uh, get us through both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll have backups just in case. But these puppies are $12.99 at Trader Joe's. And we are not having this today, but these are also something we have tried. These are the jumbo or the large jumbo cinnamon rolls with vanilla icing. These are awesome any warm, snuggly morning, but we do like to have these like specifically around the Christmas season to wake up to. They smell so good. 
Okay, so I'm just noticing that like I have a lot of cheese items here. So let's let's begin, shall we? I have never seen these at Trader Joe's. And these were, they had that little gingerbread man above them that just said that these are great because they're finger food. So these are the, is it Fet de Maine or Tet de Maine? Rosettes of semi-soft cheese. Look how pretty they are. They definitely have an odor, but in a like earthy cheese way. This is what they look like. So they look like a little flower. I understand why they're called rosettes. You just put this whole thing in your mouth. Sorry, we're starting this way. No, these are a no from me. Now, these are gonna be beautiful on a charcuterie board. It's too earthy for me. If you like a super stinky cheese, these are probably delicious to you. Or if you like a deep blue cheese or like a gorgonzola, just raw handfuls of that, <laughs> that cheese is going to work for you. Not a particularly good, like specific to the holiday item, but I love these multi-grain crackers. I feel like they are fantastic on an appetizer board. They're just so good. Like the exact right amount of salt. I need to cleanse my palate. I also picked up, since we're on a cheese kick, and I know I'm gonna like this, this is the Cranberry Chevra Goat Cheese. This is so beautiful. Also, like for it being $4.59, this is like a lot of goat cheese. I just like this is a huge glob of it. But this is what it looks like. It's very festive looking. I think cranberries are so fun between fall and winter. Okay. We're just we're really going for it with this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is what I'm going for on the cheese board. Yes, yes, thank you. This is what we need, we need that. Well, now I'm thirsty. I found this one. Remember when I found the pumpkin one and I thought it was non-alcoholic? FYI, this is a hard seltzer. This is the Shell House Cranberry Spiked Seltzer Waters. The pumpkin one. That was disgusting. It smells fruitier than I would expect it to. Okay, the first sip. There's something about the smell of it that I hate. Okay, so it like hits your tongue and is too sweet, but then when you swallow, it mellows out. This would be really good mixed with Prosecco and limes and a bunch of cranberries. I mean, that could be a really good cocktail, but maybe on its own, I don't know. That would be like a five out of 10. I would drink it, but there are better things, if that makes sense. While we're taste testing alcohol in the middle of the day when it's sunny out, Down East is one of my very favorite cider brands. This one is a departure from the norm for me. This one is called Cider Donut. Mark really wanted to try these. I'm pretty convinced I'm going to hate this from the get-go, but we're gonna have an open mind. Let's sniff. Okay, so it smells, it smells like cider. Like if you like hard cider, that's, that's something that I do very much like. But let's, these are limited release. Let's see. I do not hate this. Huh. 
It has like a subtle sugary sweet flavor right here, like when you're sipping it. Well done, Down East. If you know someone who is like more adventurous with their cider tastes or even like beer and wine, this is very subtle. Hmm. Oh, that's what it is. It says here on the side, cinnamon, brown sugar, and vanilla with a fresh pressed cider backbone. Come for the apple, stay for the donut. That's excellent marketing. It's the brown sugar that I'm tasting. And I like it. Oh, and we also love greens from Trader Joe's. So I picked up eucalyptus. It smells amazing. This is not specific for Christmas. We do this all year, but I will show you the boxwood wreath that we picked up that's going to go on the front of the house as well. Should we do one more cheese? Let's. This I'm very excited about. This is a truffle burrata cheese. This is mozzarella cheese filled with cream and black truffles. I love truffles. This was on the like specific holiday display list. Oh, wow. Okay. I guess I didn't expect, I didn't know what this is gonna look like. This is like a hunk of burrata cheese. So I'm gonna cut a little bit off and then put it back into its little mozzarella-y mixture. Oh boy, okay. Oh, burrata cheese is so good. Okay, do I need to put this on a cracker? It's very messy. If you've never had a burrata, think of it like a mozzarella, but it's like a creamier inside. Oh my. This is so good. Oh, the truffle. This is the best thing I've ever had from Trader Joe's. I literally have goosebumps right now. It's better without the cracker. Wow. Okay, this is a must. Even if you're late to Christmas at Trader Joe's, if you go there for one thing, I need to stop eating it because I'm getting full. Wow. That is unreal how good it is. Go back in your home. We'll be eating so much of you later. Okay, well, I, I was a little regretful for making this like one and a half hour round trip to Trader Joe's with the amount of things that we purchased, but this, holy cow, that's incredible. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna interrupt the taste test to show you some things that we purchased for gifts. Now, if you have a kiddo, you know that purchasing for all of the adults in their life can be rather expensive and probably stressful. So for Callie, she's in kindergarten. She has four teachers in her classroom. She has four specialists, a bus driver, a ballet instructor, a swim coach, administration. There are a thousand adults. So. I will be making a reel about what we're doing for her main teachers, but for some of her additional teachers, we purchased some little gift ideas that we thought would be appreciated with like a thank you card and maybe a gift card of some kind, a small one. So one of them here, and you can kind of tuck, see it like you tuck this as like either a two from, or you could put a gift card in here. This is the dark chocolate sea salt caramels. I could not find more of these. This was the only one that I could find because I would buy 12, even if they were just for me. These chocolates are so good, but this is also a lovely little gift. We purchased the festive chocolate collection. This is one that I haven't seen before, but I think it's so pretty. I love this little like ornament up here and this little donut. I just think it's really cute. We're going to wrap it up present it really nicely. I think this is a great like thank you. As a teacher, I would love to receive this. I did not see that navy blue jingle jangle tin 
that I love so much from Trader Joe's. That's always a great gift. And I didn't see any of those. I was really sad. And then I purchased four, one of which we're going to try, of the Candy Canes JoJo Dark Chocolate Bars. So these have crushed peppermint in them, and we're going to try those shortly. But I thought as many as I could get for those. And then for Callie's stocking, just like last year, I bought the coins because she loves these. We keep them in the freezer and we use them like all year long. And one I haven't decided about yet. I don't think that we like these. I don't, because we're not a marshmallow family. I love a marshmallow in my hot cocoa, but I don't think I love just like to eat these. So these may end up being a gift as well, but they're really, really pepperminty. And if you like marshmallows, yes, this is something you'll like, but I don't like marshmallows and neither does Callie. So we have candy cane covered almonds to try the Jojo bar, and then we've never had these in our house before. These are the dark chocolate covered peppermint Jojos. Callie's been resting for a few minutes and she must be leaning on her face with your hands. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I've been doing this. Okay, well. I like to, now I look like I'm blushing. It does look like you're blushing. Would you like to start with the chocolate bar or the cookies first? Chocolate. Chocolate bar, okay. So this is peppermint dark chocolate. Yum. Yeah, let's I see. like any kind of chocolate. Yeah. But it's I'll not just light. normal chocolate. No. When you can prank people who like doesn't like um peppermint, you can like do this and then when they bite it, they eat peppermint. Well, that's the spirit of the holiday. I can't bite it. Want this be? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a crazy eater. You were gonna say like zero, this was the worst thing you've ever had, and ten, this was the best candy you've ever had. What number might you give it in between? Um, a ten out of one. A ten out of ten? Okay. A ten out of one. I was going to say like like a seven out of ten. It's good. Um, wait. I don't think there's I enough peppermint. I counted a 10. But if you really like dark chocolate, it's a good one. I love it any kind. <laughs> okay. I have one more thing for the two of us to try. I'm going to We're going to. The other peppermint thing for Little Miss Doodles and I to try. <laughs> These are the dark chocolate covered peppermint JoJo's. They're like really thick. So they're big. Yeah. You have to finish what's in your mouth. Oh, these are way more pepperminty. I like peppermint. I like these better than the candy bars, but. I'm resting on my cheek, now I'm blushing. Now you're blushing. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, You like those? Do you like this one better than the candy? Oh, um, I'll give it a one out of one out of five. <laughs> that means you don't like it. If you like it, it would be like a four out of five or a three out yeah, of five. Yeah, it's a three out of five. I'd go four out of five. I'll give it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> You're very easy to please. Okay. If you'd like to continue resting, you can. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, she's coming back for the last thing. Oh. Those are gross. Oh, they're not gross. They're look. Do you like white chocolate? You don't. I like these, mm -hmm. and I don't like white chocolate. That's an almond. An almond is a nut. I don't like it. I'll give it a. You haven't uh, even. You didn't even put it in your mouth. I. It's like a uh, one out of. Here, let me bite two. one and a half. It's one and a two. One out of two. Look, it's almond, chocolate, white chocolate. A one out of two. Invalid. <laughs> she didn't even eat it. She just. 
um, put her mouth around the outside. I really like these and they're super pretty on a charcuterie board. Yeah. Are you going to try it? <laughs> yeah, I'll get, still give it one. I don't believe you. Thank you for your contribution. We hope that this has been a fun experience for you. Subscribe. <laughs> Please subscribe. Consider subscribing if you like these videos. We have we matching. Have, we do have matching, so if you're into mommy and me Disney fashion, <laughs> we are we are your people, right? <laughs> yeah. She's Thank you for being here. Me. Yes, I do. We hope that you'll consider subscribing and that you'll stick around for future videos. Subscribe. Bye, everybody. Hit the bell down below. <laughs> Bye. Bloopers, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs>